Hey professional drivers, welcome back to my channel. Here is a response video to a lot of the comments that I get down in the comment section, just so we can clear the air. But before we get started, I would like to give a huge shout out and a huge thanks to the Moldovan team that makes it all happen out here in the field. So many miles away in a time zone far, far, far away. Professional drivers, these are the people, when we are waking up and getting our day started, they're waking up and getting their day started around lunchtime. And they work into the wee hours of the morning. And not only the integrity, but the camaraderie. Everybody from my very own personal dispatcher, I'm not gonna say your real name, Cole, but I gotta tell you, partner, I gotta give you some of the biggest thanks because you sir are the silent partner to the other side of my personal business here who make sure that these loads are coming in and they're paying extremely good for the times that we're in right now because i think we all know that the u.s economy is kind of sucking and i know that the world economy is hurting right now but generally speaking being a truck driver it's some tough times and you, sir, you deserve a round of applause, and I'll give it to you. And Justin, I gotta tell you thanks too, because I know you help out behind the scenes as well, and you have your hands full trying to get all these dispatchers and their loads lined out for their drivers. You're pretty freaking awesome too. And of course, it just doesn't stop there. This goes all the way into safety and maintenance. Come on, Sergey, you know I'm gonna talk about you, brother. That's my buddy in safety, and he looks out, watches out over me. And can't forget about Bruce and maintenance over the weekends. Congratulations, partner. And there are so many more people. All of these guys are the driving atmosphere of pure positivity over here at Nova Lines. And with that being said, we can get back to the content. I get into some pretty healthy conversations about some of the videos I release on my revenue numbers. I'm not afraid of publishing straightforward content because I don't want to mislead any of my viewers or my subscribers. And I get hit quite often down there in them comments about the fuel sur surcharge and sometimes only making the amount of money that a company driver might bring in. So let's clarify some of it. We're gonna do a breakdown on some of these numbers and it's gonna be based off of a gross of $10,000 and the gross of $10,000 is the total accumulative amount of money that this truck earned in an entire work week. In that $10,000, somewhere will be my net hiding out that I'll be able to sub subtract and put in my bank account. So let's figure out what that net might be. And with today's economical situations happening in the United States to earn $10,000 on my side, which is the spot market side of the industry, I might accumulate $3,000 in fuel cost to the truck for the week. And with that being said, $10,000, let's go ahead and subtract 20% off of that because Nova Lines has to make their money too. Well, that's pretty easy math. That'd be $2,000 that Nova Lines gets right off the top. So you take the 2,000 off the 10,000, well, that leaves us with $8,000. Now let's go ahead and subtract that fuel cost of $3,000 that I had to use in my truck to haul all these loads around for the week. And that gives us $5,000. Now, here is all the overhead costs that I have. Truck, trailer, insurance, hut, ELD, IFTA, and incidentals. All those things added up comes in roughly $1,900 a week. And let's subtract that from the 5,000. And what does that give us? $3,100. That is all mine. Now I broke it down this way because I think the misconception is, is I should be making hand over fist, cash, cash, cash. I should be coming out richer than rich. And I'm not doing too bad personally. In this industry, this lease operations industry, you have good days, you have bad days. 
and we could go ahead and round that up to good weeks, great weeks, bad weeks, and just piss poor, horrible weeks. And as far as that fuel surcharge goes, well, that deal will have to be worked out between you and Nova Lines. And I do get a discount on my side. Nova Lines contracts that they're given to new leasees, right? Is that right? Lease leasers. I think you get the point. Well, that's going to be different than what I'm getting on my side because I am under the old contract professional drivers it'd be absolutely pointless to go over the old contract with you because if you came over and contracted for Nova Lines you would not see that contract. I sure hope that this clarifies a bunch of the questions that a lot of you professional drivers might have and I think what you can expect as a lease purchase operator is that this is not a company driver position. This is a business that you will be operating personally. You will assume all responsibility. <laughs> and just like any business, you'll have good days and bad days. And I might only be making company driver pay on some of them days. All right, professional drivers. Y'all be safe out there until next time.